Good morning, good morning, good morning, and welcome to Bible Union Fellowship Church Live, where our pastor is Pastor Rebecca DeLoach, and we are so excited and glad to be here and to come before you on this day. We are so glad that we are reaching our brothers and our sisters all over the place, wherever you may be. Um, so we are going to open up in a word of prayer. Um, but before we do, we're going to declare together Psalms 24. The earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof, the world and they that dwell therein. For he hath founded it upon the seas and established it upon the floods. Who shall ascend into the hill of the Lord, or who shall stand in his holy place? He that hath clean hands and a pure heart, and who hath not lifted up his, whole, up his soul unto vanity, nor sworn deceitfully. He shall receive the blessing from the Lord and righteousness from the God of his salvation. This is the generation of them that seek them, that seek thy face, O Jacob. Lift up your heads, O ye gates, and be lifted up, ye everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in battle. Lift up your heads, O ye gates, and be lifted up ye everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord of hosts. He is the King of glory. Father, we just thank you for this day that you've allowed us to see. We thank you for your goodness, your grace, and your mercy. We thank you for your love and kindness. We thank you for this day in which we celebrate and honor mothers, Lord God. We thank you for the mothers that you've placed in our lives, Lord God, to help guide and nurture us. We thank you, Lord God, for the godly mothers that have sowed your word into our hearts, Lord God, that you may produce the harvest in your children. So, Father, we ask that you continually bless them and keep them wherever they may be, Lord God. We ask that you would just, just do a work in them as never before. Strengthen them, Lord God, and give them the endurance and the patience that they need to continue to pour into the children, Lord God. And so we thank you. We honor you and we bless you. We thank you for this time of coming together, Lord God, being able to come and be, being ready to hear your word. So, Father, make our hearts ready so that your word may be planted on good ground, that you may produce the harvest, Lord God, that you are desiring for each one of us. Give us the strength to go out and do your word as never before, to be those living epistles to be read of men. Father, bless our pastor, Lord God, that you would speak through her on today. Father, bless this time of gathering that we would lift our hands and that we would set our eyes and our focus on you. We honor you and we bless your name. And it is in Jesus' name we do pray. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And as we begin, we are going to open up in a hymn of praise, just knowing that Jesus is our friend. He is the friend that we can trust in, that we can lean on. He is the friend that we need each and every day hallelujah so i know you may not have your hymn books at home but we're going to be singing page 500 save save hallelujah hallelujah i found a Yeah. 
presence that we stand before you, thanking you for yet another day. Thanking you for this Mother's Day, Father. And Father, we bless your name for the praises of the Lord have already been risen up before you. There is nothing in all creation that is hidden from you. Father, you know the thoughts and the intents of our hearts. And Lord, we come before you, first of all, asking for forgiveness. For Lord God, if there is anything that we harbor in our hearts against anyone, but especially those of the household of faith, we're asking for your forgiveness right now in the name of Jesus. Father, we lift your name high because you are worthy to be praised. Father, we know that there is nothing that is happening even in this day at this very moment that has caught you by surprise. Father, you knew it from the very beginning. You knew when our mothers gave birth to us that we would be standing at this very place at this very moment. Father, there is somebody that is shedding tears today because this is their first Mother's Day without their mom. Father, there is some mother that is crying out to you because this is the first Mother's Day without one of their children living. We're asking for you to bring comfort, Father. Bring comfort, bring comfort, bring comfort like only you can give, oh Lord. Father, we worship you today. We thank you for the word of God that's about to come forth from our pastor. And Lord God, we thank you for the long line of mothers that have come through Bible union that may no longer be with us. Even those that may not have ever given birth out of their wombs to a child. We thank you for every mother that has been committed to showing love and nurturing and, and guarding up and chastising and correcting a child in love. Thank you for the late Mother Lewis, Lord God. Oh my God, so many Mother Chestnut that have, has gone on to be with the Lord. Lord, we thank you. We bless your name, oh God, and we honor you. Father, we thank you for the songs of Zion residing deep down on the inside. And Father, let this broadcast, this live stream, be there for those who may still be here even after your soon return. May they flip through Facebook and go back and hear the message that Pastor Becky is going to give on today. And may they cry out unto you, what must I do to be saved? Father, if there's anybody that's looking at this broadcast that is in a backslidden condition, Father, you said you are married to the backslider. Bring them close to your bosom. And Father, we're thanking you even now if there be any that are sick in their bodies, Lord God. The nurses, Lord God, those who are on ventilators, Father, those who are in hospitals, we're asking for you to be with them, Lord God. Let a nurse or someone minister to them in the name of Jesus. We praise you, Lord God, for the, for the heritage that has been given to Bible Union. For every child that our pastor hasn't necessarily been able to lay hands on. For every member, no matter where they are, Lord, we thank you. We bless you. And we look forward to the day when we shall say, I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. Let us go into the house of the Lord. We bless your name even now. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Amen. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. This is the day the Lord has made. And yes, we do rejoice and we are glad. It is Mother's Day. Amen. It's Mother's Day. That's why I might be a little fancy with my little hat on. Amen. It's all good. It's all good. <laughs> Amen. But I celebrate being a mother. Yes. I thank God for being a mother. 
thank God for those who mothered me. Thank God for the touch and the love and the gift of what being a mother is all about. Yes. And as I wanted to encourage motherhood today, I want to speak about a mother, a mother in Israel, and that's Deborah. She arose a mother in Israel. So mothers arise. This is what I want you to do. Mothers arise. Amen. Because there is a job for all of us to do. There's work that needs to be finished. And even as was happening in the day of Deborah, crisis was in the land. But there's crisis in our land. And in the time of crisis, she arose. So in the time of this crisis, mothers arise. Amen. 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 But before I come to that, there's just a little song that um, Mother's Day, I always got a chance to sing. So I'm going to sing it today. A song my mother gave me years ago when I was like, why don't you sing this song? But it's a song about a mother who prayed for a child. And somewhere, somewhere there's a wayward child out there whose mother's been praying and praying and praying and praying for them to get themselves together, right? And mothers don't stop praying. They keep on praying, right? And so this song is just a little bit for that son, for that daughter. This song is for you. I grieve my Lord from day to day. I scorned his love so full and free. And though I wandered far away, guess what? My mother's prayers have followed me. Or desert wild, yes. or mountains high. Maybe this is you, a wanderer. I chose to be a wretched soul, condemned to die. But yet, still.
someone that needs to remember that their mothers might have gone on to be with the Lord. But don't forget now, if you're out there, if you hear this today, remember your mother's prayers on following you, following you your whole life through. But let's get to this young lady in Judges, and she had a job to do. She had a job because somebody didn't step up to the plate. Somebody wouldn't step up to the plate. Because in the time of Israel, the men were the judges. But after a time period in Israel, they had a time of peace for a number of years. As soon as the other judge, judge left the scene, you know, people got out of whack. People started following their own way. People started living their own life and did their own thing. And so there was a problem happening. And then because of that problem, the Lord allowed somebody to come and take Israel captive again. That seemed to happen a lot, right? You get out of control. <laughs> you lose yourself in doing your own thing. And what happened? You end up finding yourself in trouble, right? That's what happened. But then there's this young lady that arose. Judges 4 and Judges 5 are the chapters that it's talk about. But it says in that fifth chapter, and it says in the seventh verse, there were few people left in the villages of Israel until Deborah arose as a mother for Israel. She arose in a time of crisis. She arose in a time when a lot of stuff was going on. A lot of suffering was happening. And Israel began to cry out. And the thing was that Deborah arose as a judge. And they said she sat by a tree. And she became that woman of faith to encourage, to help, to settle disputes, get people on track, trying to get them back together with God. She arose a mother in Israel. To help her people. She said, because they needed some help. We need some mothers out here like that today. Amen. Oh, we need some mothers out yes. here to arise in times of crisis yes, to be just like Deborah. Amen. Yes. To be just like her, to be that woman of faith to help get people who are off track to settle disputes. Look, right. it might be right. even in your family, in your homes, in your right. neighborhoods, whoever, co workers, whatever the troubles that's going on around. There needs to be that mother in Israel, that mother yeah. who would arise, that mother yeah. of faith, that mother who serves yeah. God, that mother yeah. who has a listening ear. Because yeah. that's what Deborah had. She listened to the Lord. She was listening to what God would have her to say. She was a prophetess. Amen. Yeah. Amen. She sat there waiting and listening and trying to help her people. So, yes, she had a challenge that came one day. The Lord spoke to her and said, tell Barak, get that man Barak here, tell him to go fight against Sisera, was the captain of uh, the army that was led by uh, King Jabin. Jabin was the king, but Sisera was the captain of the army. And so they were coming, um, and they were taking over, and they were causing much discord among the children of Israel. So the Lord spoke to Sister Deborah and said, okay, tell him. Tell Barak to come on here and we're going to fight and the battle's going to be yours, right? Yeah. That's what he told him. So she called him down and Zebra said, come on, we can fight. The Lord is guaranteeing you this victory. Yeah. So what did Brother Barak say? He said, well, I'll go. He said, I want you to go with me. That's what he told the woman of God. Yeah. <laughs> the woman of faith. And you know what? She was a woman of faith who said, okay, I will go with you. Uh -huh. She was not scared. She That's was a right. woman of courage. That's right. So look at that. Even the miss of being invited to a battle. Mm. She said, okay, I'll go. Mm. But you want me to go with you? You ain't going to get credit for this victory. That's right. <laughs> she said, and then she didn't even say it was going to be for her. But she said, this is going to be a woman that's going to get credit for this victory. Uh -huh. So she didn't worry about even having glory for herself. Uh -huh. But she told the man, the guy, well, look, you want me to go? Okay, I'm going to go. But God's going to give somebody else going to get the glory for this victory. Isn't that something? 
But she stood there with the man of God. And yes, the Lord allowed the enemy. They came, Cicero came with all his chariots, and the Lord allowed a storm to come. And I guess they didn't know what was happening. They didn't know it was going to storm and rain. The chariots get stuck in the mud. Here's the children of Israel. They had their 10,000 and then even more than 10,000 called for volunteers. They got the army together. But they didn't have to worry about it because the battle was already won. Yeah. It was already gathered. The Lord said, y'all going to win. The battle was already won. The battle was already won. Don't you know that today? It may look like. There's a lot of stress and trouble all around. Oh the battle is already won. Amen. Oh yeah. That's what we got to hold on to. That's what we got to know. Right. So, yes. So, the devil said, okay, I'm here. Hey, yes. And the, and the army came. They came with all their 900 and more, whatever they had. And Cicero thought he was going to win. He had to end up running. Oh running. Oh running away. Trying to get away from us. This army was attacking and killed all of his soldiers. Yeah. Killed all of them. And here he ran and ran. He thought he was running into a friendly neighbor, the Kenites. That's what it says, the Kenite. And Heber, Heber was his name, a Kenite neighbor that were at peace with Jabin and the people. And he thought, okay, I can go find a refuge place here. He thought, and he saw a lady named Sister J.L. Sister J.L. saw this man running, and she had said, come over here. Come over here. And she invited him into her tent. Uh -huh. And that's something he just felt, okay, these are people who like us. That's what he thought. Right. He said, he went on in her tent. <laughs> oh, oh. He said, can you give me some water? She said, oh, she did better. I'll give you some milk. Uh -huh. <laughs> she gave him some milk. And he said, can I need to get some rest? Yeah, she gave him a blanket. Go ahead, lay down. <laughs> you get your rest. Get your sleep. It's all right. I got you. That's what she made him feel comfortable. My Lord. My Lord. The enemy coming into your house. The enemy coming. And he think he got rest and peace in your house. Yeah, go ahead. Come on in. You think he want to do something to me. You don't know who I belong to. You don't know who's in charge of my life. And look, she let him come in. And look, they said she had still, because she was a tent. That she was the whole one that set up the tents, the women. Set up the tent. So she knew how to use that tent. And while the tent had, and while the man laid down, she just stuck the thing. Oh, <laughs>
your spirit and refreshes your faith. Isn't God wonderful? Yeah. Isn't he awesome? Yeah. So women, arise. Hallelujah. Yeah. Be that Deborah. Be that Sister J.L. Yeah. Let's attack the enemy on every hand who's trying to overwhelm us. But we got God. We're going to be women of faith. Yeah. Women of courage. Yeah. And a woman who's listening to the voice of the Lord. So what are we? Women of faith? Women of courage, courage. and a woman that's listening yeah. to the voice of the Lord. Amen. Yeah. What we are? Women of faith, yeah. women of yeah. courage, yeah. and a woman that's listening Come on, Pastor. to the voice of the Lord. Amen. On, that's all I want to encourage you with today. Amen. I, I was going to sing the next song, but I'm going to let my praise team sing it for me. <laughs> I'm going to let God arise. Let the glory of the Lord rise oh, among yeah. us. Let the praises of our King rise among us. So let me just pray for you, women of God, yes. women of faith, women of courage, women who are listening and who will now be listening to the voice of the Lord. Yes. Father God, I thank you for the mothers today. The mothers in Israel that are rising up, the mothers in our homes, the mothers in America, the mothers in Philadelphia, the mothers all over this land who will rise up to be women of faith women of courage, and a woman who will listen to your voice. Hallelujah. Oh, Lord God, strengthen them, Lord God. Strengthen them in the name of Jesus. Let us be the builders and the rebuilders of our home. Let us be the ones to encourage our families, Lord God. Let us, Lord, continue to pray for our wayward children and others, Lord, who need to hear and know about your love. Hallelujah. Oh, God, give them, Lord God, a word, Lord God, from us, Lord God, as we stand tall for you, Lord God. Let your glory rise among us and let your presence be felt in our lives. And we thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Women, arise. Mothers, arise. Hallelujah.
Hallelujah. Because we know the Lord is going to make things better. Yes. We know He's going to make things better. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Woo! It will get better. Yes. Hallelujah. It will get better. Yes. And a 